This conference will now be recorded. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which sustains us, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. If you would please remain standing. Uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Caldwell, who was here this evening, if you would, sir, grace us with the invocation, please. Dear Father God, we thank you, dear Lord, for bringing everybody to the state this evening. Pray, Father, that you will watch over all the attendees in this meeting today. We pray that everything done here tonight will be in accordance with your will and the peace of God. Everything be done in accordance with your will. We pray that you bless everything done here, Father. Keep everybody home safe after this meeting. In Jesus' holy and precious name, we pray. Amen. If you would remain standing, we have a moment of silence for some of our neighbors who passed away recently. Uh, Ms. Heidi Harrison and Brandon. Thank you very much. Everyone be seated. And thank you, Mr. Caldwell. You seem to be half the man you were the last time you were here. <laughs> looking good. Looking good. All right. This time, I want to make sure if anyone has a conflict of anything on the agenda to please say so now. And if you would, either turn your phones off or turn them down. That would be nice. All right. We have uh, Commissioner Martin online. I want to make sure you can hear us, sir. Yes, loud and clear. All righty. Moving right along, seeing how there are no conflict of interest, the adoption of the agenda. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Thank you, sir. All right, and now the consent agenda, approval of the 10, 11, 21, 20, 2021, excuse me, uh, meeting minutes from last month. Do I have a motion to accept those? Move to accept. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you. All right. Next up is the public comment section. We have two people signed up to speak. First is a David Edwards. David, if you would, uh, stand the podium. Is David here? Then I guess it's just you, Mr. Holtz. Thanks. 
Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ms. Holtz. And that is it for the public comment. Uh, next up is the staff updates. Zach. All right. So since we had a relatively wide agenda tonight, I made sure that I made up for it with a lot of updates. Well, thank you. I always wonder <laughs> having quick meetings can't have that. All right. So um, some good news. We got a $2,500 grant from the Carteret County Association of Realtors for uh, upgrades to the Pettiford Creek uh, launch site. So we're going to put picnic tables, benches, uh, swings down there. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I, they're also going to do some landscaping for us and do a little community service day down there. So really appreciate that. And I think that'll continue to enhance that site. Um, so just a little recap, uh, we did our ribbon cutting ceremony up there. Everybody uh, had a good time. We actually got out there and paddled out to Pettiford Creek and uh, out to the White Oak and back in a very pretty area out there. So if you haven't had an opportunity to check it out, definitely stop by there. Um, really a beautiful spot. And then we also did the ribbon cutting at the Ferry Landing Park there at the end of Lejeune Road. Um, so did those both in the same day. It was a day of ribbon cuttings. Uh, we had our movie in the park for October. Um, thank you for everybody who came out and for the staff who came in and put it on. We were planning for a Friday night, but had gale force winds and moved it to Saturday night. So ended up making it work. Um, so I think it was a good turnout uh, despite having to move it. And then this past Saturday, we had the Cape Carteret Fall Festival. So I want to recognize North Carolina uh, Marine Patrol, uh, Western Carteret Fire and EMS. Um, for being out there, the uh, Carteret County Sheriff's Department, um, they brought their canine unit out. Um, Chief, am I mix this in anybody, any of the agencies? No. And uh, so we had a really good time. Um, you know, the forecast was uh, less than stellar, but ended up, you know, just a, a little bit breezy and, and overcast, but I think everybody had a good time. Um, got a performance from Todd from the Public Works Department, so that really <laughs> capped off a nice day. Uh, so I think everybody really enjoyed that. He's got a natural talent for karaoke and, and many other things, including acting in our videos. So a shout out to Todd for that. Uh, we also had the hay rods through Old Cape Carteret, um, had several hay rods. Uh, so that seemed to be a big hit uh, during the festival. And uh, once again, just want to thank the staff for a job well done. Um, appreciate everybody being here on their Saturday. Make it happen. And uh, you know, once again, that's Todd there in the middle. So. Um, got to get a feel for uh, Todd if you haven't met him yet. I think he's going to be at the next board meeting. So, <laughs> also want to take a, a moment too while I'm doing it to mention the uh, sponsors: um, Local Government Federal Credit Union, Lowe's Home Improvement here in Cape Carteret. Uh, they provided us with all the mums and hay bales and pumpkins, so that really made it a festive uh, occasion. And then also the Crystal Coast. Um, so, just want to thank all of our sponsors to make that possible. Um, I want to show some pictures from Halloween. So there's Chief McKinney out handing out uh, candy in Old Cape Carteret. Um, some trick-or-treaters out there. And then uh, I also want to recognize our Yard of the Season, um, which is on Sutton Drive. Uh, so they were the winner of the Fall Yard of the Season contest. So congratulations to them. And I want to recognize Heather for completing all of her courses for her clerk certification. She has to wait the two-year period, but she's um, completed all of the necessary courses to get that certification. Now she just has to wait. So um, right. just maybe a round of applause for Heather for that. Also want to um, point out we got the turkey trot coming up on Thanksgiving Day. So the gym's been doing some fundraising. You've probably seen their turkeys around town. Uh, we're planning to do a video um, to support that. The mayor's doing a video as well. Yes. So I do one tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Hopefully, get some good publicity out there and get a good turnout on Thanksgiving morning. She was at the uh, fall festival going around. And uh, here's another shot from the Pettiford Creek launch site. Sorry, they're a little bit out of order, but that's kind of a cool view there. And just want to thank everybody who came out on that day. Um, the yard debris pickup is right around the corner. It starts on November 29th. Uh, so make sure you have your debris out um, on November 28th. Follow the guidelines, uh, no longer than six feet long and six inches in diameter. Keep the trash out of there. Don't put it under um, the overhanging trees or power lines. It makes it go a lot smoother for the crew. So 
Um, coming up in December, we've got Christmas in the Cape. That'll take place on Sunday, December 5th from 3 to 7 p.m. in the Cape Carteret Community Park. So we're going to have a holiday market, food trucks, the tree lighting, kids crafts, um, music, a sleigh ride, which will be similar to our hay ride, but we're going to deck it out with some uh, lights and take it through the neighborhood. And uh, it should be fu some fun for the whole family. So I hope everybody will join us for that. We also have the house decorating contest, which will take place in December. So judging will take place on December 10th. Uh, so we'll have that sign up form on the website, or you can call up to town hall or send um, Barbara an email at bowens at capecarteret.org and uh, sign up for the contest. So usually we get a really good um, number of participants between like 25 to 30. So hopefully we'll get a good turnout this year. Uh, we'll have a lot of good gift cards from local businesses here in Cape Carteret. So um, you never know. Uh, hope everybody will enter into the contest and join in the, uh, the holiday spirit. Um, we also have the Christmas caravan, which will take place on Saturday, December 11th. And that's where the Cape Carteret Police Department and Western Carteret Fire and EMS will be bringing Santa Claus around to all the neighborhoods in Cape Carteret. Starts at 1 p.m. Um, here on Dolphin Street and will work its way through town. And then on Friday, December 3rd at 5.30 p.m., we're going to have the December movie uh, in the park event. So uh, that'll take place. Rain date will be that Saturday at 5.30 p.m., but hopefully we can do it on Friday, December 3rd at 5.30. Um, then I can hand it off to Chief to talk a little bit about No Shave November. Well, we're eight days in, and here's the door. So I want to just give a special thanks for those that have already donated to the program. So we uh, you can bring donations to the town hall or to the PD. And this year, we're going to take the proceeds and use them for our new neighborhood watch program. So uh, we're excited about that. Um, I've been too much asked to report on that. The folks covered uh, the fact that. We're trying to get the Are You OK program going, but unfortunately, due to shipping problems, the items have not been shipped from overseas yet. So we are checking into this. And uh, if you know anyone that comes to in town, I'd like to sign up. Please let me know uh, so I can contact you. Um, also, going back to Neighborhood Watch, I'm glad to announce we had four more members join this month, so that's exciting. We're going to keep working on that. Uh, lastly, I was hoping to have a speed study completed by tonight, but that will be next week. So it will be here available for the commissioners. Uh, uh, that's it. All right. I'll throw one more thing. Just want to. Welcome uh, Officer Garrett, uh, he's currently in training right now, so we uh, swore him in and uh, glad to have him on board with me so far. And I'll hand it off to uh, Ryan for the ditch report. You can tack on a few ditches throughout the mountain. Um, I think we handled the day short over the last few weeks on the G Drive and Park Avenue. Um, went over on Mercury Court. A lot of ones that have been like been overgrown, just trying to get a grip on them. Um, so I just get this water flowing and moved in the right direction. I'll show you that I'll the yards. As you see from the photos, these are some of the ones that we have completed in the last few weeks. Are you them off Starlight Drive when we talked about it here? Yes, uh, we have them. Yeah, that is on our arm. Zach, Zach, told me about it. We're just going to get over there. We are going to get that one. We need to get the, uh, as soon as we get the easement lined up, um, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right, well, thank you, staff. Y'all do an awesome job. Can't say that enough. And the fall festival was very fallish. It was a uh, it was a very blustery day. I, I came over first, and I'm like I had to go back and get a jacket, and came back, and uh, but the food was awesome. People were really enjoyed it. The vendors seemed to do very well. So I know the woman selling the blankets did a hefty, very brisk business. So depending on what you were selling, I don't know about the guy selling the snow cones. I don't know how well he did, but 
uh, everybody else seemed to have a, a great day and the weather did hold out. So I was glad it's so hard when you're trying to put these events on to schedule them and then, you know, guess what the weather's going to do. So uh, there again, couldn't do it without the help of the staff and the volunteers. So thank you guys. Cause I'm sure y'all probably had better things to do on Saturday and come here and work for us. But thank you once again. All right. So next up is uh, stormwater ordinance discussion. Uh, Commissioner King, you wanted to bring that up. Uh, yes. Thank you, Mayor. Um, basically, uh, during this past election, what I heard most is an issue with the town is stormwater. And for those of us who've been sitting up here for a long time, stormwater. Uh, it's only an issue after we have a storm, but it's we've had significant issues for a long period of time. If you look at our ordinance, our ordinance gives uh, some authority to the staff to address this, but no tools. It talks about limits and commercial, and it talks about being able to, during the permitting process, to require things, but no specific tools. So. In talking with the uh, Coastal Federation, different uh, organizations, um, I think that what we need to put in the ordinance, in addition to some limits and stuff, is tools that allow the uh, our town manager, who has a stormwater certification, to require things during the permitting process, such that when you see, when you go through the permitting process, you have a layout of the lot and the house and the driveway and all that stuff, you'll be able to do some. Uh, preliminary calculations of what kind of problems and what I'm looking for are some tools that he can manage stormwater with. So what I'd like to do is uh, send this topic, and I think all we need is a consensus, to the planning board to review this and come back with some recommendations of different tools we might be able to implement to uh, improve our stormwater. Uh, that doesn't do anything for the problems that already exist, but for any new development, both commercial and residential, uh, we could uh, have some tools to work with. That's basically all I'm asking the, the board to do is send it to the planning board to, for a, uh, a review and some recommendations. Comments? Well, entertain any comments? Are you asking for comments? Yes. Would you like to offer one? Yes, I would. Uh, Zach, uh, it comes to my mind that you possess certain credentials in this area. Is that true or am I mad imagining that? Yes, that's correct. Could, could you tell us what, what they are? Yeah, I've got the uh, state um, North Carolina State University stormwater BMP inspection maintenance and all that. Um, got that certification um, on my CZA certification, CFM certification, and uh, AICP. Well, is what uh, Commissioner is what Commissioner King is asking? Is that not something that you could do or be willing to do, Zach? Yeah, that's something we could do. Um, I could prepare a, a draft uh, text amendment and present it to the planning board for comments and feedback. If that would be process the board wants us to go through on that and then after it's gone through the planning board can come back to the board of commissioners for consideration at the end of that process but in other words you could take the lead on this is what i'm asking yes yeah if that's the direction from the board okay thank you no problem. so would everybody be okay with that just a consensus I think that's all we need. Okay. Well, there you go. Any, any more comments on the subject? Okay. All right. Next up is the commission reports. We'll start with Commissioner Martin. I have uh, no report tonight. All right. Commissioner King. Yeah. Uh, to address uh, Mrs. Holt's comments, uh, I did go to uh, our waste pickup people and ask them why they didn't ask us about picking it up all one side. And the guy I talked to said it wouldn't be any easier. And I hardly find that as an acceptable answer. When you look at, he drives, the, the waste guy drives up one street and down the other side. If they're all on the same side, he would be able to go through the town with this in one direction. And uh, so I, I would, I, do you know anything on this, Zach? Have you ever taken it up with, uh, 
people at uh, GFI? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess just initial reaction to it. Um, I, I think we would have some logistical challenges with getting that word out there to all the folks who need to move their trash cans to the other side of the street. Um, so we'd probably have to plan for some type of mailing or something to go out. So there's obviously some costs associated with that. Uh, but, you know, lately with some of the challenges we've had with trash pickup, um, I don't know if we want to throw another uh, thing into the equation. I don't know if it would result in more efficiency or not. But um, one consideration would be we would have to have a way to get the word out to every resident who would need to move their trash cart to the other side of the street. And that might be a little bit of a logistical challenge. So. Well, I agree with you based on the problems we've had with yard debris pickup in the, in, in the 10 day, but, you know, thinking about it pragmatically, if you're driving a truck, it'd be a whole lot easier if they're all on one side. And if they don't offer any savings, then there's no sense of pursuing. Right. He's, got to, he's got to make the same number of stops. He's got the same number of trash cans. So there's no savings there. And the only, at a time is turning around at the end of the street and coming back. So, you know, the post office seems to have a good idea. It seems to like that that concept, but I don't know that it would actually save all that much time. Well, I, I, what I would say is just take it to Waste Industries or whatever their name is now and ask them if it if it's worth pursuing. If it's not worth pursuing, I wouldn't spend a, a dime on. And I want my trash can in the other guy's yard. <laughs> I can do that. So on, on Deer Creek across the street. That's all we got. Commissioner Waters. Uh, yeah, going back to the uh, speed the, uh, survey, Chief. Uh, I know last month I had done a, a uh, motion to do that 15 miles per hour. Uh, without a survey done. And that, I would tell you, that was premature on my part. I should not have done that, not knowing that's the out of character for me, because I like to do research, and that's that's a researchable thing to be done. With that being said, I actually was driving down the road the other day uh, and had to drive, and my vehicle would not do 50 miles per hour. It would does more than that in idle speed. So I, <laughs> I'll have to keep my foot on the brake at 15 miles per hour. So, uh, I'll be interested to know what your speed survey comes back to on that. I will say so far that the highest spot has been passing down. I won't know where that's at. Uh, it's 34, but most speeds are under 25, very few 26, 27, maybe 28. So okay. that's encouraging. Okay. Thank you. That's all I had. Mr. Miller. I just want to first thank uh, Zach and staff, our town staff, for everything you're doing, everything you did this past weekend for the fall festival. I know that was a very stressful event with the weather the way it was. And I'm sure, I mean, Friday going into Saturday morning, literally watching it by the minute, trying to make a decision whether to go with this or to cancel it. And it turned out good. And I appreciate that from all of you. And then other than that, I just want to congratulate our three newly elected commissioners, our Commissioner Martin, who was reelected, and Cameron Watts and Charlie Morgan. Look forward to working with the three of you going forward this next year. So, Commissioner Nailens. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. I hear you. <laughs> well, I just got a couple of things, and I also echo uh, Commissioner Miller. Congratulations to all those who won. And also, thank you to everybody who ran. I mean, that's very important that we have people actually run for these offices. That's the only reason I ran for mayor was it was it was going to be unopposed. And that's just, I mean, why have a democracy if nobody's going to run type of thing. So I'd rather have too many than not enough, I guess. But uh, once again, congratulations to those who won. Look forward to working with you guys coming up. And uh, once again, thank you guys for just such a great job. The staff's doing office staff, public works, police department, Zach. You guys do an amazing job for this town to be such a small town and have the great staff we do just still just really makes me feel great to be a citizen here and we do so much everybody does everything that's 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 the great part about it um have you seen the county has a new map for us uh redistrict and uh they didn't contact us at all so i'm a little disappointed again in the county for that um because they they put our town in two different districts 
So if you're an old Cape Carteret where I'm at, you're now in the same district as the island and with Cedar Point. But if you're anywhere else in town, you're still in the same district. I, I, yeah, yeah, you're in a different, we're in a different precinct. We have two precincts in our town now. And they just took my little neighborhood and, and put it with them. It's, I, here again, I, it'd been nice to at least hash our opinion uh, before they'd have done that. But here again, what can I say? So we have we have two representatives technically now, I guess, with the county. Does uh, the precinct stay the same, the Bogue precinct and the thing, or is that changing he's, also? He's pulled the up uh, the map there, as you can see. Uh, the Farrington district is where my neighborhood will be in now. Uh, but if you're in uh, Star Hill, you'll still be in the District 1, which is Robin Comer's district. And if you notice, also uh, Cedar Point has now also been moved to Jimmy Farrington's district. I understand they probably did this based off of population. Um, here again, I don't know. <laughs> but it just would have been nice if we had got a phone call to let us know they were sort of planning to do anything like that, uh, especially uh, now that, like I say, we have two representatives for our town. So I guess uh, Mr. Farrington and Mr. Comer will hopefully get to get to see them both. Uh, but just stuff like that just sort of irritates me a little bit. But that's just me. And also, I want to encourage everybody, like I said, we got the uh, Christmas decorating up. Please get in touch with your Anna Griswold. I thought that was awesome last year. Uh, some, of the, some of the great displays everybody had. And don't forget the trash pickup. And that's pretty much all I got. And I would love to entertain a motion to adjourn. No move. Second. Second. All in favor. All righty. Thank you. And thank you all for coming and participating. And good to see you once again, sir. Mr. Caldwell.